Nicholas Wright, who was the titular director of the Royal Shakespeare Company, a royal, th royal theater company in England, saw the play because he came to see his dying mother, went to England and mentioned this to the English stage company that he had seen something he had never seen in his life. Theater and life merging and inability to separate the two. That the actors on stage took the risk of being arrested or killed the night of the performance itself. And that is why we were invited to go to England. So we got this invitation. After that stage, his passport was already confiscated for about four years, he couldn't travel. So he reapplied, got his back in three weeks. Winston applied, got his back in another four weeks. I never got mine back. Of course, at that stage, I already was involved within the movement. My uncle was on Robben Island. My younger brother was already in detention. So my family was known. And then by the time it was about to go, I called a very nice lady, Helen Sussman. I knew Janet Sussman, she's an actress in England, who Helen was the aunt. And Janet says to me, why don't you ask my aunt, maybe she can help to get your passport. So I called um, Helen and said, help me. And she said, when are you leaving? I said, in two weeks time. He says, oh my God, John, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna to have to talk to P.W. Potter. I could have taken him to tea. <laughs> She was so angry at me telling her so late. So finally, a week before we travel, I get the call. I'm in Port Elizabeth. Can you go collect your passport tomorrow before four o'clock in the afternoon? I said, where? I said, the Civitas building in Pretoria. <laughs> I've never been to Pretoria. All right, so we managed to raise some money. I got in a train, because if you got in the plane, you have to wait and make sure every seat has not been sold before you can get one. So finally we arrived and, and I got to this office and there they were sitting and they said to me, why did you speak to a politician? And for a moment I forgot Helen Sussman was a politician. I said, what are you talking about? She said, you spoke to Mrs. Sussman, the leader of the opposition. I said, well, okay, okay, I understand now where I was wrong. And I said, no, no, I was just worried about the pressure from England that do I have a passport or not? I said, okay. She then said, yeah, you can travel. Now, the South African passport then was green. And it had that beautiful logo of the spring and no horns like this. And this one was brown. They had no South African logo. It just said travel document. So when I opened it, <clears throat> it said travel doc document for travel purposes. Nationality on bepalt, stroke undetermined. Next line. The South African government bears no responsibility whatsoever of the bearer of this document. So I could not even be extradited at the expense of the South African government. <laughs> and I said, excuse me, and they said, next. So I went back to PE and I showed Arthur and Winston, what are we gonna do with this? So I told the Royal Court Theatre, Lord Soames, Lady Soames, Lord Soames is the one who got that mess in Zimbabwe when they negotiated with Smith and Robert Mugabe. Yeah, he, he's partly responsible for the mess that followed, but it's not in your history books. So she was then the, 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 the chairperson of the board. She said, tell John when he arrives at the um, at immigration in England, Heathrow, if he's got a problem, this is the number to call. So I said, well, okay. We arrive at Heathrow and I'm looking around. Oh, I'm not going to that guy's Pakistan, it's going to be terrible. I'm not going to that one, he looks too English. And there was a lady who says, next. Apple and Winston are already through. And I hand over and she says, what the hell is this? She looked at me, open, and says, what would they think of next? <laughs> No, she just was in a good mood and infuriated by South Africa's stupid race laws, and she just put that stamp. That was the passport I used until 1990 when Nelson Mandela was released. It was only valid for one year, and I always received it four months later. And if it expires while I'm on the West End or on Broadway, it needs to be referred back to South Africa. There was something in it where the embassy in England or London or Paris would say, oh, this has to go back to South Africa. I kept looking at it, I can't find the sign. <laughs> what is it?
So that's when the career of the international, international career began.